All right, rain arriving right on schedule after sunset, moving from west to east with some embedded thunder. That is certainly what we're tracking right now across eastern Connecticut. We're zoomed in here with first alert live radar, some of the heaviest of the rain moving uh, through Coventry, Columbia, Hebron, Colchester, along and just north of Route 2, heading toward the 395 corridor. So wind of Brooklyn, Canterbury, Plainfield, Griswold, eventually getting some of this heavier rain, briefly heavy, and uh, perhaps not only hearing the pitter pattern of rain on your rooftop, but even some rumbles of thunder. That's the heaviest of the rain currently ongoing in Connecticut right now. Also tracking uh, a bit of an isolated downpour moving right along uh, 95 Route 1 and the Connecticut shoreline. Uh, Branford, Guilford heading into Madison and Clinton. Looking at the statewide perspective, west of 91, just scattered areas of lighter rain. Temperatures statewide fairly uniform between, say, 50 and 53, uh, with still a bit of an easterly component to the wind. Uh, certainly cooler compared to this time last night by several degrees statewide. In our view from Waterbury, see the wet roads as the downpours move through earlier 50 degrees in the Brass City. Uh, lingering light rain reducing the visibility just a bit in Hartford 52. Certainly wet there on the roads uh, surrounding the green in the Elm City of New Haven. And we're still dry in New London, but some of that wet weather heading uh, in your direction at that shower that's moving along 95 survives the trip farther east. Uh, you can see this uh, band of showers uh, in association with the frontal boundary working into and through the northeast. So uh, earlier today, some severe thunderstorms off to our west where the air was more unstable, where we had temperatures well into the 80s, the warmth we had back on Monday, yesterday. Uh, and then uh, here across southern New England, our air more stable, and especially with these storms arriving after sunset have been on a weakening trend given uh, it's been cooler as well. So looking at the big picture, this uh, front moves offshore tomorrow. We'll see some partial clearing through the afternoon. And then as we head through Thursday, another disturbance passes by, mainly affecting northern New England. So first alert future cast showing this lingering rain winds down after midnight. Uh, we'll tend to dry out a bit as we head toward the Wednesday morning commute. It will be a cloudy start to the day. And then as the day progresses, we'll see at least partial clearing through our Wednesday afternoon. You see some specks of green. There's just a low end chance for an isolated shower, some sprinkles to pop up. Most of the afternoon is dry. Temperatures inland tomorrow reach or exceed 70 in many locations. Meanwhile, upper 50s to low 60s along the Connecticut coastline. If you're planning to perhaps do a little outdoor activities after work tomorrow, especially inland temperatures initially in the 6 o'clock hour in the upper 60s, if not low 70s, uh, will be dropping after sunset in the 7 o'clock hour. A little bit cooler along the shoreline if you're going to do some alfresco dining, may need that, uh, that jacket on hand. With the rain tonight, Tree pollens down a little bit tomorrow, but as we dry out Thursday into Friday, those levels rise yet again. So uh, first alert future cast for Thursday. Another disturbance passing through across northern New England, so we'll start cloudier with increasing sunshine as we uh, make our way through Thursday. Thursday, a little bit milder than tomorrow, 70 to 75 inland. Then on Friday, we've got increasing cloud cover, another backdoor front that will bring an onshore flow, so that means temperatures back in the 60s. Saturday, between 60 and 65, mostly cloudy, and will not a washout. Some showers look at least possible throughout the second half of the weekend on Sunday. Sunday, perhaps a degree or two cooler compared to Saturday. Once we get past the weekend, trending drier, brighter, and milder as we head into early next week.